episode 92 done and done mm. we uh hit up a lot of game of thrones spoilers in this bad boy yeah and uh we talk about why we are late with this episode yeah it's not my fault intentional or it wasn't intentional I don't, yeah. or the it was not your intention but it was the intention of the universe right that caused you to become sick sure and thus pushing us back but you know what adaptability is key my friends okay we must learn to adapt and overcome. Mm-hmm. And that is why we did it on a Monday. Right. So if I can get this up in time, you'll be watching this on a Monday. Or I'll be watching it on Tuesday. <laughs> right. Adapt and overcome. The very thing that humans do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so enjoy this one. If you haven't seen the uh, spoil, if you haven't seen the Game of Thrones yet, this is major spoilers. So just a heads up. Be wary. Be wary. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scrack Gamers. This is your weekly roundup where we talk about four things we thought were cool from the week and we dissect them in a Socratic method while Vish plays video games. Yes. You might be noticing that this is a new video game. Vish, what's the game? Counter Spy. Counter Spy free in the PlayStation Store. Well, was. Was free in the PlayStation Store. <laughs> See that? I like that. I like that business model. They got free games that don't go free. And then do you have to purchase it now? Yeah. Okay, so it's like one of those, like, uh, what do you call it? It's like promotional deals. And then people will play it, and they'll be like, oh, my God, this game's so sick. Like, we're playing right now. Well, it was out, uh, like, many months ago, I think, for free. And then, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it was Each free, month. people got stoked, and then they made it not free. So it's like the people that are like, oh my god, this game's so good, now you have to pay for it because the hype got built. Oh, okay. It's like marketing. Sure. I mean, people need to play online. They need to pay for it anyways, so. Right. But that's not one of our topics. No. <laughs> so you may be wondering, why is this podcast delayed? Usually we drop podcasts on Mondays, but we're actually recording this on Monday. Yeah. Which actually goes into our first topic, Vish. Oh, I got sick. Yep, Vish got sick. (laughs) Super sick. He was gone from the apartment for like five days. Yeah, yeah, I had to recover. Yeah. Away from everything. Yeah, so... Basically, I woke up at 4 Mm a.m. Because the food didn't digest well, or didn't digest at all. And was uh, pretty gross, which was... (laughs) diarrhea and vomiting so it's wow, something it's both, like both ends both ends right both there. ends yes yeah so i just wanted to exp- i just wanted to get out of your body yeah no it was uh i was thinking about it other, later mm-hmm. it's like oh it's like a cleanse you know i was about to say it's like it it's like when you do like i've never done this but if you go to like the jungles of peru and you do like yeah. ayahuasca mm-hmm. and then like you're coming out of both ends and then it's like just purging yeah you know what i mean like right right, right. Pre- pretty fascinating we, we voluntarily do this as a species to, like, hit enlightened states of consciousness mm-hmm. to appreciate the fact that we are healthy. Okay. Yeah. Did you, did you feel that? I remember when I got sick, like, last year, I was like, oh, you have to remember that it sucks not being healthy. Like, you, you take it for granted, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Well, it felt like I was dying. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like people... They'll do these things on purpose to remember why it's important to live. I would not do this on purpose. Well, I'm saying other people. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, you can actually see, like, the relevance in, um, in like, living, mm-hmm. living healthily. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, I mean. That's it? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, no, 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 short no, no, damn no. topic. Like, no, I got no, sick. No. All right. Well, it was or like, it's, what I meant was like, yeah. uh, it was pretty interesting to see, like, because when you get, when you go through that, it's like, you really, like, I, I was trying to sleep it out, which is the wrong thing to do, which is mm-hmm. you got to get water in it, because you're, you threw out so much water, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, like, the first thing you should be doing is uh, getting liquids. Mm. So then, like, because I really... You couldn't, like, I couldn't really even think properly. You can't really... Like, you don't feel like doing anything, right? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Even moving was... was... your body sore? So, mm, it was... 
it was uh, it wasn't sore. It was like it like did its like feverish, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then uh, all I did was that for that day was just a liquid diet, it's trying to bring back all the liquids because you're really really dehydrated. Right, right. That could really affect you in the long run. <laughs> oh, really? Well, water, yeah, of course. It's That's funny. the one thing that you need, not food. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because, like, I know um, fighters, they'll dehydrate themselves to make mm -hmm. weight. They'll do, like, a lot of weight cuts. Right. And then, like, it really messes up their system every time they do it. Oh, yeah. You know, they get, like, kidney stones. Oh. Their kidneys, like, fail. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty intense just to make that weight. Oh, damn. Yeah, so you did it accidentally, accidentally. but you do it, like, on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, like how to think, like how to, um, like not think, like yeah, liquid diet. Basically, it was like my that day and second day was like more trying to recover back from that. Mm -hmm. So slowly, like trying to get back like to the normal food mm -hmm. with your like the intestines as it was ruined from <laughs> whatever I ate. Right, right, right. So it was it was an interesting experience. Like, where where did you eat, by the way, just so we can blame that company. Oh, something from Metro. Oh, Metro. <laughs> so just don't buy the food, everyone. That's uh, yeah. That's yeah. what Vish is saying right there. Right. Don't buy the food. Yeah. So yeah, anyways. should sue them, right? Is that what we do here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I don't know how how much you could like link that, but maybe. No. Yeah, well, yeah, you really need a lot to link that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, where did the actual contamination come from? If it was. Or, like, how was the contamination done? I don't know what it was from, per se. I have ideas, but I don't know. Hmm. You would never know unless you tested the thing itself. Would you Would you ever do, like, a liquid diet now? Like, as just, like, for Normal kicks? Thing? Yeah, yeah. Why? Like, just as a cleanse. Like, we were just talking about, like, you're like, oh, I felt like a cleanse. So it's like, oh, should we do more cleanses, you know? No, it wasn't. That wasn't the cleanse. I mean, the cleanse was... <laughs> the expulsion? Yeah. No, no, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, but it's like... Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Oh, no, all right. So it's like a, it's like a happy accident for you. No, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so, but it was just like, I wouldn't do that, no. That's it was just horrible. So what you're saying was a horrible experience? Uh, yeah, I wanted, like, normal food back. <laughs> so what did you, what did you gain? What did you learn from it? Don't eat a Metro? <laughs> okay. I don't know. What else can you learn from it, other than always keep yourself hydrated when you go through that? I guess. It's cool. I was looking for a moral lesson, but that's cool too. What else, I don't know what kind of lesson you can get out of that. The, the fact that God <laughs> sometimes doesn't like you. Uh, sure. And he puts bacteria in the way to. You know, oh, so you, true. I didn't really. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. No, so I, I really just pulled that said. out there, but I don't know. No, I like yeah. when you brought up the idea of bacteria. Like, there's a lot of things I could really fuck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. We we like think that like, oh, the the lion, the tiger is gonna eat us, but it's really like watch out for bacteria. Yeah, the what's, smallest thing for sure in the world. Yeah. And what's really fascinating is that like, if this were like a hundred years ago, you probably would have died. True. Yeah. You know, you didn't take any antibiotics or anything. Right? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. but like. Back then, like, um, like diarrhea was like a killer. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, food poisoning itself. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if it was food poisoning. I would think it's more food poisoning than stomach flu. I think stomach flu is really more. Did it rejuvenate your uh, perception of life? Were you like, oh my god? Well, I it was the fact that I'm living. Uh, well, yeah. It's like when you were you f when you felt like dying, mm. and then you kind of have to like, like, like change your own mindset to like remember. Like you got to start fighting this versus just sitting. you got to fight this. Like no, no. What I mean, like, like, uh, no, no, no. I mean, like, like trying to get up and get some liquid in you, like, versus just lying in bed. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Did it make you reevaluate your life choices? Uh, in what sense? <laughs> like, were you like, mm, I should really try and be healthier? I mean, uh, actually, what happened was even the day before when I was went to Metro to buy some things grocery wise, I was like. I was thinking of like what I should buy to make my own food was what I was thinking also, uh -huh. which was funny because like this is I was just gonna buy it for today and then I was gonna like make some stuff right. Yeah. yeah for so sure. this was like like I did like you know what I mean? It was kind of like a joke. 
Oh, it was like sense. because you you opted for just buying food. Like yeah, like like the next thing I would do because I was asking like like what I should get or like or looking up like what I should be buying uh-huh. or like to make something. And then you simple you, things. And then you opted for the easy way. You're like, you know, I'm just gonna buy food today. Well, for today I was just gonna buy, and then tomorrow was I'll cook the, it. Yeah. So but so what you're saying is like the universe was like <laughs> it was like you should have done it sooner. Yeah, I should have done it that day. <laughs> But now you, through going through this experience, yeah, have realized the value in cooking your own food. Yeah, yeah. Which actually brings me amazingly to my next topic. All right. Quiet contemplation. All right. See, how I like that. <laughs> See, how I like that. All right. So it's funny because like we don't really spend a lot of time. This is a loose connection right here, but I was just going to like bring <laughs> right. it into it. Um, uh, we, we as a society don't really spend a lot of time like contemplating the known facts that we know within ourselves. Mm-hmm. So it's like you were like, oh, I know I should be eating, cooking my own food, but I'm just going to cheat the system for today. And then you got sick. Yeah. Right? Not saying that that's actually the reason. I mean, like, correlation is not causation. It just yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, whatever. Course. But um, I feel like we build, like... So, like, what we decide to do today influences tomorrow. We're building a... We're, like, a species of habits. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah. What we do daily is how we program our mind and our subconscious to act automatically. Yeah. Right. So like as so like we're 30 now, right? You know how they say like you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Mm-hmm. So that's not really true because of neuroplasticity. You find that you can actually learn things and your brain will change over time. Yeah. But the thing is, the reason why it's so difficult is habits. So if you get into the habit of something, it's sort of like how you do one thing is how you do everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so if I if I choose to do this one thing in this instance, nine times out of ten I'm just gonna do it again and then again and then again. Right. And then it becomes my character, it becomes who I am. Yeah. Right? And to realize that we are not these habits, we are like ever evolving, adapting beings. Mm-hmm. But it takes a lot of work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like if we, I don't like to call it meditation because like that gets super like esoteric and then people, yeah, yeah. and then it's like what so stage of meditation, right. right? Because there's like, there's like different stages of meditation. There's like, you're closing off your senses and mm-hmm. then there's imagination and then there's like, uh, imagination leads to contemplation and then you hit this thing called samadhi where you're not thinking at all. Right. Great. Right. I personally, like, mm-hmm. like, I know we talked about this before, but like samadhi for me is like a ejector seat. It's like, okay, this is way too difficult. I'm just going to leave the situation in my mind. Right. You know, but I feel like the most effective thing is like contemplation. Yeah. 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 Right. Because it's like, then you can effectively move forward. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, one thing I personally do, and, uh, I'm so glad that we don't have to pay for our water bill and our, we don't pay for our water bill, right? No. All right, thank God. So I, I actually uh, exercise shower meditation. All right, shower contemplation. I, I like to just like stand in the shower, sometimes, sometimes even kneel in the shower, and just like, just like let the okay. water run over me. Right. And then focus on well, not really focus on anything, but like let the answers come. Mm-hmm. You know, and like one thing that most people fear is like the, the honest answer that will come. Okay. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you don't have the the backbone or like the fortitude to face the reality of the situation, oftentimes you're going to um, disregard it and okay. even like push it down. Yeah. You know. And I feel like all problems are built off of mm-hmm. a habit that we have built. Right. Yeah. Because like, think about it this way: no problem. All right, let's, let's take 40-year-old midlife crisis, Yeah. right? So like, you're like, oh, I hit 40. I'm going to buy a new motorbike and like a new fast car, and I'm going to like do all like, – I travel the world, all this craziness, right? Yeah. But it's like what stemmed that? It was an entire 40 years, a whole lifetime of like making choices that you didn't want to make. Mm-hmm. And then it hits a breaking point, and then you're like, oh, now I'm going to change my life. Right. Right, whereas like if you had just taken the time – to like contemplate the reality of the situation mm-hmm. unobjective like like objectively 
Yeah. You know, like not not trying to like place blame or like place an emotion to it, just looking at it as like these are the the facts. Mm-hmm. Then you can move forward like more comfortably and like a happier being, you know. Right. Maybe you wouldn't have gotten sick if you had just uh like, you know, contemplated and ended up making your own food. That day. See, I'm licking it back because I'm trying to trying to stretch the connection right there. <laughs> yeah, okay. But you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think I think that's like a huge problem with society nowadays, that we don't spend time like contemplating where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily like because a lot of people are like, oh, where do you want to go in the future? I don't think it's really too important to contemplate the future. It's important, but I think it's also important to like more important to like contemplate your choices up to this point, because your choices up to this point will lead. And direct you into your future. Mm, okay. Do yeah. you agree? Yeah, Does this agree? in some way, sure. But I don't know if that. I don't know. We're just animals, anyway. So. Yes, but that's yeah for sure. We're like a thinking animal, and like the biggest, our our main affliction is thoughts. Yeah. It's our. It's also our main positive. You know, like if we didn't think and problem solve creatively, we wouldn't have like this video game that you're playing. No, 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 I know. But, like, sim- but simultaneously, it's like, these are the same thinking mechanisms that create problems in the future. Yeah. You know? hmm Yeah. True. I don't know what else to add to that. <laughs> so you, you agree meditation is super important? Mm. Or, no, no, not meditation. You believe that... Um, contemplation? Yeah, I'll say contemplation. Contemplation is super important. Uh, sure. I don't know. <laughs> I should contemplate on that more. You should. You should. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> good talk. Thank you. I just ranted. <laughs> You're just like, okay. I don't know. I think it really doesn't matter to me. Hmm. All that's right. That's all I could say about that. <laughs> but you know it's worth contemplating. Oh, right, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yes. Yep. Yes, that is true. That is worth contemplating. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you checked out Game of Thrones yesterday on the Sunday. Yeah, I was back in time for that. I was healthy enough for that. I like I like that you you pulled yourself together in order to watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, because I knew that was coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. You give it to me. How amazing was it? Uh, well, I got the viewer count. Is that what we need here? I don't, I don't know. It's your topic. What? Oh, no, I meant like, because you're saying how amazing it is. Do you want the story or do you want the... Hit me up with the story. I don't know if I should say the story. Major spoilers. Because you haven't spoiled it. You haven't seen it yet. Yeah, but that's fine. I, I, I will... Uh... I'm one of those people that likes to watch, you know, like... I, I, I like to hear it before I watch it. Because sure. if, if it's worth it, then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to invest the hour... Because I can do a lot of things with that hour. Well, I mean, it's, I think this is worth it. Okay, uh, so. it. It's great for reunions. Okay. As it is for any first episode, I guess. Okay. Um, so how about you just tell me the story, and then I will I will be surprised, and then I will actually <laughs> ask you questions about okay. what happened. Uh, no, I'm saying like the reunion was because of the things that you. So, for instance. Uh, Remember the last time Arya saw the Hound? Okay. Yeah, kind so of. So they, yeah. they met this episode. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, was she like, I want to kill you still? Uh, it, was, it was interesting. Kind of, yeah. Was she like angry? I can't remember. I have to watch it again. <laughs> okay, what, was she angry? <laughs> no, she wasn't angry. Oh. But more like the Hound was like, kind of like understanding why she's still alive because of the way she is. Oh, he was like proud of her? Uh... I don't think he would say that. Probably was, though. But he was like, oh, you're alive. Good job. Yeah, because of her, like, wittiness or her, like, you know, her type of character. Hmm. Okay. And then uh, then she met, which was Gendry, the guy you probably won't remember, the blacksmith guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the son of um, the, I, yeah, the, the king. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And? So, like, they were all coming together back, or coming to Winterfell. So that's where she met them. Or mm-hmm. saw them first and then met them later in the episode. Uh, and then, uh, so throughout the episode, which was funny, what's his name, Brandon Stark, was 
just sitting there watching as everyone was like, he was like one of those. No way. Like an old guy. You know, like one of those old guys just sitting there and as everyone comes in. And wait, wait, he's wait, just wait, like was, looking. Was, was he white eyed and he was like watching? He wasn't white eyed. No, no, oh, no. He was, he was like actually white. He, he was, was watching it. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird. Right. It was it was weird because that was like the one thing that's going on on the internet. It was That was like, it wasn't weird. It was just like, okay, that's Brandon Stark now. Okay. But it's just like, he knows too much. It's like he knows too much that he just can't. Like he can honestly, only get involved yo, in when he honestly. Needs I to feel get that way sometimes now too. <laughs> like not not to say I'm like Brandon Stark or anything, but like sometimes like I feel like there's a point of diminishing returns mm-hmm. of learning a bit too much. Like it's different if you yeah, learn a yeah, lot yeah, about yeah. like engineering. It's like okay, there's no point of diminishing returns because then you're going to problem solve. But like there's a point of dim- diminishing returns where you like you understand the psychology of a species a bit too much that you're like, what are we doing? Right, you know, and it's like it's not nihilistic, but it's like you're just kind of bewildered about the choices we make as a general species. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right. So is it kind of like that? Is Brandon Stark kind of like, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Mm. Well, he just knows what needs to happen next, kind of thing. It's just okay. like so what? he's just waiting. Like, it out. Yeah, he's just it's craziness. And um... so it's like the guy. Who like you're like this is gonna be a bad decision, but we gotta wait like for it to end so that we can move on. Right, right, right. Like like uh, then the when they first arrive and the encounter between Sansa and Daenerys. Okay. That was their first meeting. Uh huh. And it's just like anger. No, but shady is like uh, he expected. Threw shade? Somebody threw shade. Yeah, everyone's got cut eye going on. Holy. Uh, <laughs> Did Daenerys pluck it out? Did she burn it out? Uh, there was a good line in Dracarys. there. Dracarys. Because there, one one thing that's funny is like when you think about war, because like, they brought all these this whole army, right? Uh huh. One thing we don't think about on shows is like, what do you feed them? We you don't have food for all of these people. Oh my god, that's so funny. If you read the Art of War, they say that stuff all the time. <laughs> it's like it's like it's not just about like conquering you need to think about your resources yeah because how can you conquer if you have no resources make right. no sense right, right yeah totally okay that i'm glad that they brought that up it was kind of funny sounds i brought that up and then she's like what do you what do you even dragons eat like and then that's where like the cut i happened and then uh Daenerys is like what do they want like, whatever they want yeah broccoli yeah whatever they want holy and then um except for me because i'm your mom <laughs> Dracarys. and then one thing was uh sam Told now, now John knows everything. Okay, they knows been, everything. Like what? They told him who he is. Oh my God! And he's like, "Oh damn!" <laughs> yeah, he's, Did he say that? Was he like, "Oh damn"? Well, he he first didn't and like he thought. Um, what? Oh, oh! Did he have a moment? Thought, like, did he, he have thought, a moment like um, Neo? Was he like, "No, I don't believe it." No, Get me out. Well, Get yeah, he didn't out. know what to do. Like he, well, we still don't know what he's gonna do next. Uh, like in his but decision because he's now the actual the, king but it's common in the uh, thing right in the in mm, their lineage I guess I don't know what's going to happen next no remember it's common in yeah, the yeah, lineage yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, no I know I know yeah. I don't know uh, what Daenerys will think though because that's oh. not what they were oh thinking. she doesn't know no not yet oh dun, 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 dun. they just told uh, told him for now oh okay and then uh, like a lot of things happen I Mm, let's see. Uh, what was your favorite part of the episode? Oh, uh, the end bit. <laughs> Which was, like, as it ended. Because um, this, they haven't met, again, it's the, they haven't met since the end of the first episode. Which was when Jamie pushed Brandon Stark as a kid. Oh, no way. So, the way it ends was as Jamie enters into Winterfell. Because uh-huh. he left Cersei now, right? And uh-huh. So that's at the end of the first, uh, end of season seven. Okay. And then, that's when he he saw he saw Brandon. Oh, so that no. was their first actual, like eye to eye. Oh. So that was kind of cool because that was not like that's how it ended the oh, way that the first episode. Oh dang, bro! So they haven't met since then, right? Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's cool. So it, it was. Did that's what just, I'm saying. Like the first episode like is just each other, and then it's like dun 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 dun. Oh, like that's it, like, it. It's done. Oh, okay. Because like, he like, like he 
uh, it showed uh, like Jamie recognized who it was, kind of like wide eyed a bit. Oh. And it's like oh, or, or and then you, cut. You know what's gonna be crazy? In um in the next episode, Jamie's gonna be like Brandon. I'm sorry for what I did, and he's like, there is no Brandon. There is only. But he doesn't believe he's Brandon anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There is only the white-eyed raven. So they haven't talked yet. Is so the white-eyed wonder... raven? What's his name? Three-eyed raven. Three-eyed raven. He's there's only the three-eyed raven. Yeah. It's kind of freaky. Yeah. There's other rumors of who he might become. I don't know. He's the uh, night. King. Basically, the first episode is always the he's setup. the night king. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, he's the, it's always a setup, right? Uh-huh. Like to set up for the next things to. Right, right, right. Happen. And then just mainly reunions and just to kind of put everything in place. Yeah. Cersei was there a little bit. They got the Golden Army. She's not going up north, as we knew at the end of the season. So. Oh, she's going to help them? No, she's not. Oh, not going to help them. Okay. Yeah. That she makes just sense. wants to. Like, we also don't know if she really pregnant or not. Like, that was the thing that oh, right, Tyrion right, right, believed. Right. But Sansa didn't believe her, that she's going to be coming up north. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Oh, and Tyrion meeting Lannis, or Tyrion meeting Sansa again. Remember, they were married before. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, he was nice to her, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, didn't yeah, do yeah. anything. No, 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 no. It's just like, it's just all these encounters again that was that happened like many seasons ago. Right, right, right. They're like bringing everyone together just to kill them all, basically. Basically, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how do you think it's going to end? Oh, that's too early to say. I don't know. Who do you think is going to... Or do you think everyone's going to die or do you think somebody's going to actually... No, here, here, better question. I don't know. I'm not going to think... Or or is the White Walkers going to win? No, I I feel like... uh, I don't know, but I think... I think it'll be a little too weird to end only with White Walkers. I think they will defeat the White Walkers because there's like really no story about them other than what's their lore. It would be more just about trying to take go back and face Cersei. That's what's the main story, I would say. Okay. All right, I'm going to make my prediction now. Mm-hmm. And then if this happens, I'm a genius. Okay. So Brandon's going to go back in time. No, he he's going to face... He's going to realize that he is the Night King. Yeah. And he's going to see the the impetus for him becoming the Night King. Okay. Right, he's gonna see like, oh, because of this domino effect, I became the Night King. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna go back in time and change that domino, and then we're gonna start all over again from season one. Yeah, and it'll be like, it'll be like a new Game of Thrones. Like they're obviously not gonna yeah, continue yeah, yeah. it, but it's gonna be like, what would have happened if this didn't happen? Mm-hmm. There's like different theories too, because there was, there was the guy that built the wall, which was Bran the Builder. Bran? Bran Stark? Could be. And the Night King could be the first Stark. I'm still going with mine. There's so many rumors. We'll see. All right, I'm, I'm going with mine because I believe in domino effects. Yeah. Speaking of domino effects. <laughs> see that? See how I like positioned it? Sure. You're like, I just made a domino effect right now because okay. I saw that lineup. Right. And I'm making that connection uh-huh. to my next topic. Okay. So, uh, so <laughs> speaking of domino effects, uh, I read this book called Beyond Engineering. Yeah. And I thought the... It's basically like the the title of the book was about how um, decisions... Humans shape technology to their needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what I didn't realize is like... so So I thought it was like, okay, we make technology to um, serve us. Right? Mm-hmm. So, like, the technology we have today is the best technology, and technology works to help us out because of the premise of, like, okay. how humans shape technology. Right. Right? But what it turned out to be was human greed and partnerships shape technology. Okay, yeah. So, one example that for you... Instance, for yeah. instance? For uh, instance, your alcohol car. Yeah. Remember, so oh, yeah, yeah. elaborate on your... Oh, the four, first Ford cars were like out made of yeah. Well, alcohol. I mean, yeah, using alcohol as fuel, yeah. Yeah, and and then that led to the prohibition of alcohol, right? Right, right. Yeah. So or another one is like um hemp was going to take over cotton 
mm-hmm. for the paper was it cotton for the paper mill? No, lumber. Lumber for the paper mill. And the guy who invented the paper mill, he just made this whole thing about like marijuana is evil and like, you know, the Mexicans are like using it. Okay. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, and he yeah, created yeah. this propaganda, which made them outlaw hemp, the growing of hemp, mm-hmm. for for both psychoactive, like he positioned it for psychoactive, but you, in banning the psychoactive property, you also banned the actual growth. So right. you couldn't make paper or like hemp products, mm-hmm. right? This is another one. Uh, another good example is like the QWERTY key- keyboards that we use. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering what QWERTY is, if you look at the um, keyboard that you probably have, and it's Q W E R T Y at the top left, uh, that's a QWERTY keyboard. And even though it's the most inefficient way to actually use a keyboard, mm-hmm. uh, what they found out, <coughs> I'm sorry, they found better ways to uh, type. But because of the first mover advantage of the QWERTY keyboard, we just all kept using it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's interesting that like how these domino effects work. It's like one person's decision, we don't really know how it will affect in the long run. Mm-hmm. You know? And like, oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's like fascinating when you think about that. Like, I'm really into that show uh, Frontier right now with Jason Momoa. Mm-hmm. Because like, when you look at like Montreal and like Quebec and stuff, you, you forget. I'm real, I really like history stuff right now. Uh, because like, you don't realize what we have today is what we have today simply because of what we had yesterday. Right. You know, it kind of goes back to the whole like um, meditation thing of like, yeah. you know, habits get formed. Mm-hmm. You know, like everything is a built up of everything. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, as a side thought, if everything is built up of everything else, then doesn't that kind of just prove fate? Right, if you can find a rationale for why something happened, then there is no random. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. then everything is predetermined. Mm-hmm. We just can't see the mathematics going forward, only going back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. True. Sure. So I thought. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, like. I mean, yeah, but that's with any, you know, it's kind of like. Uh, evolution too, in a way, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny because like they took it as like just technology, but like I extrapolated it further towards like everything we do. Yeah. Because it's like it's almost like we don't have our own best interest in mind. Like you take this on multiple levels. All right, the fate example, but also mm-hmm. if you look at like the partnerships, it's like we don't actually have our best interest in mind. It's like what. If we had worked all together to find a common solution, then we might have had like a better world than we have now. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but, but like that's not how it works. Or... Yeah, like simultaneously, if you add more people, like there's too many cooks in the kitchen, so everybody has their say, mm-hmm. and because of that, that's why lobbying is so important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you actually look at what lobbying is, it's like one person has a good idea, and then he tries and convinces as many people that his idea is the best idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's lobbying for his idea. Yeah. And then if he wins the most votes, well, he gets to rule the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's also, like, you know, ever wonder why shitty movies being made? Just had a better pitch idea. <laughs> That's true too, yeah. Or like, maybe there was like a partnership, like let's get this movie out because this person wanted it. That could be true too. You know what I mean? Like, it's like maybe maybe the movie producer's son was a big fan of this movie and he didn't have the heart to can it because he was like, oh, I really want my son to. Yeah, yeah that's also true. You know. I think. But it's sometimes a, uh, mm-hmm. that's also true. But it's like I think most times it's more like. The idea was good, this execution was bad, and just now you just got to try to sell it as well as you can. Yeah, that's true. That's true, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Right. I think more often than not, that happens. I don't know. I'm I'm like, I'm leaning more towards like, but there's so many. Everyone's got a hidden agenda. Yeah, but I think it's more like everyone's just got a hidden agenda. Because Mm -hmm. if you really think about it, it's like we all want to maximize our life benefit. 
right? Okay, think about it this way. You have limited resources and everybody wants to maximize their life. Okay. So obviously, not enough resources to get around. If I make a decision that infringes your life, one of us is going to have a bad time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. It's almost like that, that phrase, like, crabs in a bucket. You know, we're all trying to, all the crabs are trying to, like, climb out of the bucket and they're pulling each other down to get to the top, you know? Yeah. And, like, even though, even though, like, if you listen to Chaos' song, Crabs in a Bucket, it's kind of about that. But even though he tries and, like, preaches, like, an altruistic viewpoint of we should work together, that's just not how humans were built. No. But even on, like, the basis level, which is fascinating because I got that, well, I knew that already, but it, it got affirmed in the Scientology book. Yeah. So, like, um, basically, not that I believe in Scientology, I'm just saying it's, like, it's an interesting book. But, like, even on a cellular level, mm-hmm. well, let's not even think about that. Let's think about, like, like the one sperm that made it to the egg. Yeah. We were all battling for resources. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, in our nature, it's all about battling. Yeah. And if you read, like, um, the Bhagavad Gita... Like, why is Arjuna a warrior? Because we're all warriors. We're all battling for something. Mm-hmm. There is no peace and prosperity. There's only prosperity. And through right. that, you create the falsehood of peace. Yeah. Oh, is that negative? I don't, I don't think it's negative. It's the tr- truth. Is it the truth, though? Like, I don't know. Like, maybe you can come up with an example of, like, when... We've band together. We only band anyway. together generally when bad things happen. Yeah, like yeah, totally. Like, um, like when alien came, we'd all work together. It's like only for our demise. But I still yeah. think that we wouldn't even band together. Actually, there's gonna be one guy that's gonna be like, "Yeah, what the aliens probably." Yeah, yeah. See, even in then, it's like conflict is just who we are. And we try and resolve the conflict through meditation. See that? Oh, we'll bring it all full circle. Oh my goodness. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's like it's interesting, like thinking of these viewpoints because, like, being a human is very tricky. Uh, you know, there. I don't believe in altruism. Yeah. You can only have altruism if you don't want anything from that person. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. No, no, it is possible, yeah, for sure. Like, um, if somebody drops their pen, I don't know who you are, but I pick it up. Okay. I believe that's the purest form of altruism. Because oh, you're okay. not like, I don't know you, I'm just going to help you for the sake of helping you. I see, I see. But if you, were like, if you were like my business, like if you were somebody that I wanted to land business from, it's like, oh, I'm, of course they're going to buy all of your drinks. Of course I'm going to tell you you're funny. Of course we're going to go to the movies. Mm-hmm. Like, wow, they really like me as a person. It's like, no, my ulterior motive of is of landing this business that's why people have like expense funds you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. it's never like you never do anything unless you have nothing to gain from that person right for the sole sake of their well-being yeah (laughs) yeah i don't know i think it's with anything though. What do you mean? I, I mean, it's with many things. It's just. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're the. Animals. <laughs> we're gonna, like, look for, for ourselves in some sense. I don't know. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless we. But I mean, like. Unless it's also adds to our betterment or something. I don't know if I make any sense here. No, <laughs> rephrase that. Like, no, I'm just saying, like, we'd only work together if it's both benefit, like, beneficial to me. Oh, so, like win-win scenarios? Yeah. Yeah, well, they do say that's the best business um, business transaction, where yeah. it's like, we're both going to benefit. Right. You know? Okay. Hmm. But that just, again, it alludes to our own selfishness. That, that's what it is? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hmm. It's kind of see. This is the brand, the brand Brendan Stark moment where you're like, "Damn, that is what it is." Yeah. <laughs> you almost know too much. You're just like sitting back, like, "Damn." No, I don't think it's wrong for me though. 
it just makes it me more like uh, like more understanding of why things are the way they are. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I'm sure Bren, Brendan Stark is very compassionate too. But like, he's probably sitting back like, damn, why are we, why are we all fighting? These White Walkers are about to kill us. Right. Actually, damn, Game of Thrones, right there. The enemy, my enemy. You're like, oh, if we had a common enemy, no, they just showed us in Game of Thrones, like Cersei. Right. Exactly. Wow, Game of Thrones is life, bro. Yeah. That's why it's so important to watch this show. <laughs> So yeah, true. Next week, are there any um, fast forwarded like um, not fast forwarded? Sorry, like any leaked episodes? Mm, no, nothing has been leaked. That's the thing with the HBO; they're really good at. Uh, no, but remember, there was that one season where the whole thing got leaked. No, that was like the episode that when it like I'm saying like throughout the filming. No, I'm talking about the episodes. Like have the episodes. No, been nothing's oh, been leaked. Too bad, too bad. They've been really, really, really tight lipped. This time. Not that we would check that out because piracy is illegal. But. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. This this time everything's been tight lipped. Mm-hmm. And even like, like, even like they have so many extras. It's like nothing is leaked from what's on set. Well, I'm sure like their families know. Yeah, but I'm saying like. But not to the general public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I can still usually get leaked, even if you do it that way, right? Some true. friend of a family or blah blah blah. True, true. But still, nothing. So in sum, check out Game of Thrones. It is definitely the best so. series you'll ever watch, because it'll teach you about life. And about yourself. Yeah, they had the preview for the next episode though. Oh, okay, cool. Which is cool. And because Jamie's there now, and one thing you. We forget who killed James, who killed um, Daenerys' dad. Who? Oh, the Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's their first encounter. Oh, next week. <laughs> On so many levels, Game of Thrones is so like life, like examinatory. That's in not the what world, but you know what I mean. It's like in the world, it like it's really giving you like um, dragons and. Yeah, Patrick. like no, no, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it's like the way Game of Thrones. Remember when I first watched it, you were like, "Oh, this isn't a magical tale." No, Don't it's worry. not. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's like, "Oh no, it is a magical tale, bro." It just took a while, but well, it's still really there is really rarely magic used. Yeah, for sure. Only for thing me. would be dragons. I'm just saying. Well, anyways, just be like Game of Thrones. Modern day tanks. I don't know. Game of Thrones is a very societal, oh, dissected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a social commentary. who we are as people and who we are as humans. So definitely watch the show. Comes out every Sunday at 9. Sponsor us. Yeah, this is the first time that I get to watch it live. Oh yeah, because you finally got Crave. Yay. Yeah, so also get Crave because they're going to sponsor us next. True, yeah, they will. See that? Always plug in for my own greed. (laughs) Because that's what it comes down to, fellas. Look out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because nobody else is going to look out for you. Until next week. Same bad time. Same bad channel. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Any final thoughts, Fish? Uh, I don't know. Watch Game of Thrones. I don't know. I was going to say that, too. I was actually going to say that, too. Watch Game of Thrones. All right. Till yeah. next week. Take it easy. Peace.